Welcome to PD Connect, connecting the Parkinson's community with resources, information, and each other. We are thrilled to have Chiara Viale, the writer and director of a film that is currently in post-production. The name of the film is The New Music. Welcome, Chiara. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Hi, Kiara. Hi. Kiara, let's start off with uh, the storyline for the film, if you would, please. So, uh, The New Music is an Irish-based uh, feature film um, about a um, young a piano genius called Adrian, and he um, gets diagnosed with young-onset Parkinson's disease, and he's, uh, he goes through a phase of um, denial especially because his whole life depends on playing the piano, and that's the first sign for him that things are going wrong. And uh, so um, he runs away from home and cuts you know, all, all bonds he has with his family and friends and runs away and comes to Dublin, Dublin City, where uh, he rents a room in a shared apartment, which here is quite uh, usual at the moment for students and young people. And here he uh, just finds himself in the same house with a punk band. And... Uh, so he goes through a phase of not wanting to know them and not wanting to have anything to do with them. But then they slowly kind of infect him with their chemistry, their lifestyle, their passion for the music they make to the point that he becomes friends with them and they show him um, that regardless then of, of having Parkinson's, there's still music he can play. So he ends up joining the band and uh, just finding a new meaning to his life. I have to tell you, when I first heard about this film, I thought it was uh, uh, fascinating. And so how did the idea of the film come about? So um, I'm very passionate about music and films about music. So the starting point for me was uh, I'd like to make a film about um, how music is important for us and how we can you know, define and change our lives. And, and this was one of the points. Uh, so I want to make a film about music. And then I thought about... Um, it just kind of um, came to me to create a character who, for some, for different types of reasons, for some reasons, can't play anymore. So I made um, I made a research to uh, find out what kind of illness the main character could have had that would uh, make uh, playing music for him impossible. And I came across young onset Parkinson's disease, and I I really had no idea it existed. And uh, it shocked me a bit because it's a rare disease and because I, I myself always associated Parkinson's with old age. So um, that was really something that, that you know, kind of fit, fit into the story. And um, I felt um, a bit compelled uh, to tell this story even more. And just so it kind of developed through, through you know, the idea of young and said Parkinson's. Also, um, my father suffered from MSA himself and he passed in 2013. So um, I have a history in my family of uh, rare disease and dealing with rare diseases and uh, uh, neurological illnesses. And um, so I kind of think that, that that story, kind of telling my own, in a way, tell my own family story and my dad's story was waiting there for me somewhere. <laughs> so I had the chance to do this through the film um, in, in, a, in a bit indirectly, of course, and but in, you know, bits and pieces, but I've done this. And um so it was the, the, the two things, and uh, the, more, the more I found out about it, and then I reached out to um, Young Parkinson's Ireland um, here in Dublin, and they helped me out, and they gave me even more insight into it. And the more I went on, the more I felt uh, this is the way, this is the way it's supposed to go, and uh, I felt more and more compelled into telling the story and go ahead with the film. Well, I am super excited about this project that um, you decided to do. Um, as a person that was diagnosed with Parkinson's at a young age, I was 34. And um, at, at that point, I kind of went and lived in denial. Actually, I didn't kind of, I flat out didn't tell people because I got the reaction, but you're so young. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, and it's like, no kidding. Thanks for, you know, for like letting me know that I'm yeah. young. Yeah. I'm very, I'm fully aware. Thank you. But people don't really think that younger people can get Parkinson's. And I think the perception is changing because of social media and uh, projects like what you're working on. Yeah. So I'm so excited about this. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for, you know, 
thank you and, and not all the people like who uh, reached out to me so far about this uh, and it has meant everything to me and um and again um it just it just felt just feels like this this is really um something people should be talking about and uh um i i remember like one of the the hardest parts that at least i i um i was um part of about you know having a, a rare disease is just the lack of of other people around you and the lack of of um communication and you know the possibility opportunity to have like a community around you because nobody really knows there's so many so so few people that you can actually talk with about what's going on so i felt I feel that um, the new music might be a platform that people can use to start a conversation and that, you know, that young people can feel like they, you know, they're being represented somewhere. <laughs> so they, you know, they might just go out to their friends and tell them this, this, this is what's happening. I don't know. Like, but if that, if that, if it does that just for one person, that will be like, you know, worth for me to have done, come this far and finish the film. You have no idea how much what you just said resonates with us because we've had that same thought about this podcast and about various other things that we've done that if just, if, if it just impacts one person who's, you know, struggling with denial or struggling with young onset Parkinson's in particular, just cause that's, you know, our background uh, or Tanya's background um, that's that, that it's all, it's worth the effort. And it's so interesting that your film, you set out to make a film about music but the film that you're going to make in so many ways, I think, is going to be groundbreaking in terms of raising awareness about Parkinson's disease. I hope so, so much. <laughs> now, you said that you got in touch with Parkinson's. Um, the, uh, what's the name of the association it's in Ireland? Called, uh, Young Parkinson's Ireland. They are, they, have, they are based in Dublin and Cork, Limerick and Galway, That you know, mostly. Um, and it, I was particularly in touch with a few people from here from Dublin and um and they've been the like I, I I was I was given the contact of a girl called Claire Connolly and she was 27 last year and with with Young and Parkinson's and she read my script and we had long conversations about bits and pieces and her making sure we got we, we got the, the right you know that I was going on the right direction um with with the story and also making sure that none of the script was you know, because you know, I've I've done research, but it was completely different to have to have her um, overviewing it, and uh, so we are making the film in association with them, and they've been they've been partnering with us and they've been like not just supervising, but really kind of getting back and in touch and you know participating. And uh, at the moment, um, the film is in post production, so we're finishing editing and we do a sound mix, which is a, one of the trickiest parts for us, having basically. We have about uh, 15 different songs playing in the film. Plus, we have classical music, original music, and is there one particular band that's contributing to the music in the film? Um, there, there is a few, thankfully. So, from the from the rock music, punk music point of view, um, we are partnering now with um, some European bands. So, we have a Dublin bands, um, a Dublin-based band called Checkpoint, um, woman songwriter called Bird Woman. And from Ireland, and Declan Byrne is a songwriter, singer songwriter. And then from the from Europe, we are, uh, have Mug and Intellectual and Bangers from the UK in the soundtrack. And uh, we're we're fishing for more bands to uh, to finish up. And uh, we have Give a Man a Kick from Ireland as well, who are an amazing punk band. And from the um, uh, we have a Dublin band who's um, who made two original songs for us that the, the band the, the band in the film plays live, and so they, they they wrote songs for us on purpose. So even the lyrics of the songs will resonate with the film. And um, and from the from the classical point of view, we have an amazing uh, um, pianist and composer called David Sangster from the UK, and he has uh, Parkinson's himself. He has young onset Parkinson's, and he reached out to us wanting to help with the soundtrack. So he's composing two uh, original piano s songs for the film that the main character will be playing um, in 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 the scenes. <laughs> plus, plus we have some just general classical music. We we know David well, and I'm thrilled to hear that he's involved in the project. Oh, great! I'm sure I'm sure he's a he's making a great contribution. He does. He is. 
Uh, he's very talented and he does so much for the Parkinson's community. Yeah, it's an amazing person. It it really um you know I can I can say this to you guys and if he'll make it in the cut, but uh like when he contacted me on Twitter and he sent me a piece of himself playing and said, you know, I saw your trailer and this this is this feels like me and and you know, and I opened listened to his music and I cried for twenty minutes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and because I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it because I was like, yeah, like I, I, at the end of the day, I write a story, but this this person is just, you know, uh, he's, he's, he's there and, you know, he deals with it every day. So then, then I answer, yes, yes, please help us. <laughs> <laughs> what um, part of your background led you to make a movie about music? Um, so... Um, I, I'm really passionate passionate about music, and I um, if for me um, music is kind of um, a, a part of the writing process that has always been. I started writing when I was very young, and uh, music has always been an incredible source of inspiration for me in terms of mood, in terms of um, even narration. Sometimes it inspired me to to write different types of stories, and so for me it's always been very close partner to everything I do. And uh, I grew up listening to uh, loads of rock music, and and you know I went through metal for a while, and and um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, g- growing up, and uh, but in, it's mostly because I know what kind of m- difference music can make to someone's life, and sometimes music does save lives. Sometimes people read lyrics and helps them through ter- some hard times, and so it really does make a difference. You know, for lots of people, and uh, and punk music in particular for me um, was a, a a bit of a shock when it happened, um, when when I started listening to it for the first time because um, I've always been um, very self conscious about trying to be perfect in my writing, trying to be perfect in you know in my films and everything, and and a bit even shy about showing whatever I did and communicating what I wrote. Um, and then listening to, to to punk music really made me feel like, uh, you know, if, if these people go out there and they don't care too much about form, you know, if they grab an instrument, go out there, write some lyrics that really mean the world to them and and just go out and sing or go out and play. And um, then I can do it. I can do the same. I can do I can write what I feel. And then who does it? Who, who cares a little bit, you know, <laughs> and then thankfully, you know, people did care and, and good things came out of it. But uh, the first big push into following my uh, my inspiration and and regardless of what people think, let's say, that came from from punk music. And I also play guitar a bit. I was in a couple of bands, uh, but uh, I had to put the guitar down recently for for filming. But it's still a big part of my life. Uh, you make such a good point about music, how it helps people through difficult times. But music just makes a difference Um, looking at pictures. You get one meaning, but if you add music to those pictures, it makes it so much more emotional and a greater connection. And it just, music moves people. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It it, it really does. You can even, uh, in the trailer for the film, uh, the music that, and I, actually, I'll ask which which band is that that's featured in the trailer for the film. So the the, the band is called Monkey, and they are the band who, uh, who composed the original music. So the song in the trailer, um, that's um, that's a song that was composed for for the film. It's called Home, and uh, that's it's it's great, and it, it evokes emotion when you're watching the trailer. I mean, as soon as it, 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 you know, ten seconds into it. That piece of music to me, I immediately had a sort of an emotional reaction to it, and it, it just adds so much to what I anticipate from the film. Um, and it, it's got us—I mean, Kendall, it's got us both really excited to see this film released. Speaking of which, when is the film expected to be completed and released? So, um, so what our, our deadline now uh, is? Uh, there is a big film festival in Ireland called the Galway Film Festival, and this is going to be in July next year. So it's a year from now, and that's when we're hoping to get our public release. And uh, but the film will be ready beforehand, and we're hoping to be able to do some test screening and some private screenings. Um, um, the, the the biggest issue that we have is that we don't have um, we, we don't have a production company. We don't have any sorts of funding from any anyone. This is a completely independent film, and it's a it's a charity film. It's non-profit. It's been you know our 
aim is to, in, in case this film made any profit, to devolve everything to Young Parkinson's Ireland and to uh, Parkinson's research. So um, we are in a position where um, literally I'm a waitress and uh, the cinematographer, you know, is a rotoscoper. So uh, we are in a situation where um, we can only go ahead as much as we can with our own means. And this means, you know, generally speaking, means we don't have the money to put the film into cinemas because it's just us. <laughs> so what we what we hope to do with it is to get it get go get it through festivals. So this one festival in Ireland and a few festivals uh, internationally, hoping to get it in and get some distribution deals out of it, and uh, and then possibly sell it for you know um, for TV distribution. Are you um, are you doing any kind of fundraising campaign right now? So yeah, we do have a campaign, um, um, a fundraising campaign on GoFundMe, and which is uh, so it's GoFundMe slash the new music, and it's um, it's at the moment like so we we we're, we're hoping to reach five thousand euro for um, uh, for mix sound sound mix, and we are okay. we're still a bit far from from getting that. <laughs> so we reached kind of low in terms of money because we were like, we'll just go, you know, a little bit at a time and see how much we can get. So if we get, we reach that 5,000, that covers us for a sound mix. And then um, after that, you know, we, we, of course, we hope, you know, we're in the hope that somebody will just jump in, um, helping us out to, you know, just give the film more chances. You mentioned a cinematographer. Who else is involved in making the film? So um, we, we got so this, the the other extremely important figure in the film is as um, Kilian McAvoy plays Adrian, his main character um, in the film. Um, he also put money out of his pocket to help us out through the production, and uh, he made an amazing research on on Parkinson's. And um, it, you, you know, we we had the chance to show a cut to um, representatives from uh, Young Parkinson's Ireland um, when we were in, into the into the first edit, and they approved the edit. So and they, you know, so it's, it's, from their point of view, it's a, a truthful representation of a very early stage Parkinson, and that's all thanks to him being uh, a great actor. Um, mostly, <laughs> you know, doing his own research and just being able to incorporate this within himself. So he was definitely a key figure, f figure in this. And then we have um, about um, 35 people between cast and crew, um, and they're all volunteer. Uh, all, every one of them is a volunteer. And they, they came on set, um, you know, in their own free time, between their own paid gigs. Um, all the actors uh, worked for free and for expenses and this has all been this all kind of came together with the knowledge of trying to do something for for a purpose for for a good cause so um every single one of these people from we had a, an amazing um hairdresser and head of hair and makeup and you know it was, it was even like a, a punk fan and you know she came on set and she did at the, in the end she did everything from hair to makeup to cooking to hold lights to make me tea when I was exhausted and I couldn't <laughs> come back to the set and everything. So all these people, even the ones that like showed up to be assistant camera for one day in between their own work, like all of them, they were all precious and we couldn't have made it, you know. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> it, it really is. And it's especially you talk about, uh, you know, Parkinson's Ireland, uh, watching the edit and approving about how Parkinson's is, is being accurately represented in the film. I mean, that is so important to the Parkinson's community um, to, to have that accurate representation. And because that will dose, and in particularly when we're talking about young onset Parkinson's, because this film could do so much to shatter the myths associated with Parkinson's. And and to help increase awareness of the fact that the disease affects all ages, you know, and uh, that's such an important message. And just from looking at the trailer and hearing about this film, I think there's great promise in the ability of this film to um, reach a whole lot of people who otherwise would never know anything about Parkinson's and for them to be moved by it and feel a connection to it. Yeah. Like that was extremely important to me. Um, I remember in pre-production, people coming in and said, saying, I, I really want to be part of this project because I had no idea Young Park, or, you know, I, I had no idea that Parkinson's could be uh, a young person's disease. And I, I want to help with this, you know. <laughs> 
and uh, and me just welcoming them in, going like, let's let's do this, guys, and let's let's do this out of you know wanting to make it. And uh, so that that it, it was like adding a little bit every day to to my own conviction of this has to be made. The, the more, every new person would come in and join us, thinking and t- told me um, I didn't know. That was me saying yes. You know, there's another little victory on the, on the way. You know, we got a new person. Yeah. <laughs> so, what led you to decide that the music that would be featured in the film would be punk music? Um, so one of the reasons is because um, if 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 the if the main character comes from a, a classical background, a very very strong classical background, and in particular this being fiction, uh, the main character is actually very famous. Like we we created a Picture, uh, fixtures a uh, worldwide famous young pianist. So someone who's really has it all figured out. That's what he does. That's the only um, environment he, he knows completely. Uh, so the opposite of that for me is is punk music. So it's completely it's completely the other side uh, of, of what music is. You know. So on one side you have learn your your notes perfectly and go out there and perform something that was written centuries ago. Some amazing music. And uh, just get all that pressure. And on the other side, you have uh, um, playing on street corners, three chords, because you love it. <laughs> so it's, it's like, for me, those are the two different, like, antipodes of, of music. And so it was funny. It was, like, uh, humorous in a way to throw the character so much into a completely different world. And for him to actually understand that that completely different world can help him play again. You know, so erase the fear and go go back to maybe go back to a keyboard, uh, go back to a street corner, and just just keep playing because at the end of the day, what matters is the music. You know, so that that was the choice. That juxtaposition of the two different styles is brilliant. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, where can people go to learn more about your film? So at the moment, we have a very uh, very very active. Um, a Facebook page, uh, so you can find us on the new music feature film on Facebook, and on we have we have a Twitter page as well. That's the new music film, and if you if you know going there, there's all our updates. Uh, we're making um, behind the scenes videos. Um, you can also find us on YouTube. Uh, we have a YouTube channel under the new music feature film, where uh, we made. Uh, a, a good a good bit uh, of um, behind the scenes videos for production days, so you can have a look at what it was to be on set, and what happened on day by day while we were there. And we're still uh, making videos of us um, uh, post producing, um, you know, shooting on the streets and all sorts, to kind of be updated on what's what's happening, and um, where we are, and um, and just have news from you know from the new music. Excellent. Um, well, I can't begin to express again how excited we are about this film, and and uh, I, I I can't believe we have to wait until next July. <laughs> well, well, I I really hope it's going to be earlier than that, but uh, it's it's a, it's a prudent deadline uh, because, um, as I was mentioning, uh, it's it's this the the attempt of making a feature film uh, with no budget is very punk. <laughs> But it's 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 very right. demanding on you know on on us. So you know we we are trying to make it as as good as possible in as little time as possible with the help of anyone who wants to give us a hand. Uh, nothing is too little. <laughs> I was gonna say in the meantime, um, the YouTube channel that you mentioned and all your your other social media, I would encourage people to go check it out because I spent some time watching the videos on your YouTube channel and I love them. <laughs> It, they have great energy and it's it's great so keep posting them we will yeah well and the other thing i'd encourage our listeners to do is to is to go to the gofundme page and if you would get give give our listeners that gofundme page again it's um it's gofundme.com slash the new music i would encourage our listeners out there to go to the gofundme page and to uh consider seriously consider donating to this film um, because it is something that will be beneficial to the Parkinson's community as a whole. Um, we've loved having you on today. Really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us about this project. It was amazing to be here. That, like, again, for me, the, the more people know that this is happening, you know, the, the, the better. And I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to, to have the chance to talk about the film and to talk to you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of PD Connect. Please help us connect with the Parkinson's community by spreading the word about this podcast. You can find us online at pdconnect.org and on Facebook at PD Connect Podcast. You can also follow us on Twitter at PD underscore connect. Again, that's PD underscore connect. Until next time, this is Chad and Tanya signing off.